Hey everyone, Full Mong Alchemist here, and I'm coming at you with another edition of the monthly manga spotlight. And this month, I would like to spotlight No Guns Life. Uh, this, I just want to start out by saying that I don't think this story is for everyone. I don't think this manga is for everyone. Uh, just for the sheer fact of uh, it's the way it's written, and it's very thrown into stuff like steampunk and punk and detective uh, kind of story. I'm not saying it's it's super vulgar. I'm not saying it's uh, offensive. I'm not saying it's gory or fan servicey. I'm just saying it's very narrowed in on the detective story, and it's very narrowed in on uh, the steampunk aspect. Now, if you have any interest at all in steampunk, this is a manga for you. Um, a lot of people um, fall into those kind of categories along with uh, uh, either the supernatural or the sci-fi. And I think that as far as steampunk goes, there's not a lot of new ones coming out on that kind of way. And this is the one that I think you should look into. Now, I'm going to go over a little bit about what the story is. I don't think I'm going to give any spoilers, really. Um, now, I'm going to do my best to dance around everything. I'm going to leave certain story beats completely out. Because I don't want to ruin anything that might... I, anything for anybody that might want to pick up this wonderful manga. So, starting off, our main character's name is Juzo. Juzo is what you would call a resolver. Uh, he resolves things dealing with people like him... Who are called extended. It's uh, people that have extended their human abilities via mechanical um, modification. You know, and some people are fully extended, uh, meaning there's no organic uh, left to their body. Uh, and people are some people are just getting like a lot of doctors in this universe get eye extensions. A lot of um, People who who get in grave accidents get extensions, arms, legs, uh, face, uh, whole face extensions, everything. So people that lose their vocal cords get vocal cord extensions. It, it, it's highly common. Uh, there's very few a uh, few people that just straight deny it and 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 hate it and rebel. Um, it, it's, it's super common for this world and. Um, he deals with mostly uh, problems to deal with his own kind. Now, he starts out in this super run-of-the-mill kind of story, you know, following a certain lead to a crime, and, and ends up falling into a way more convoluted and way more intense story that he wasn't ready for, but he constantly reminds us as the reader that he does not give up. And not in a, a, a super cheery uh, shonen type of way of like, you know, believe it, I don't give up. No, not like that. It's just more of a grumpy old man kind of way of he paid me, I don't give up, I don't care how long this takes, you know, I'm, I do a job and, you know, I want to get you know, people coming back to my, to my stuff, so, um, but he falls into a bunch of stuff, I'm not uh, the type of guy to really fall into main characters that hard, uh, I'm more of a side character kind of person, uh, it, it's happened to me in just about any anime I've ever watched, it's happened to me in about any, uh, manga I've ever read or comic, I, I'm big into side characters, uh, they're, they're my thing. And into this manga, my favorite character is Mary. Mary is Juzo's partner? Uh, I, I, I say those words lightly because he says he doesn't have one. But if he was going to have to pick someone close to that, I think Mary would be it. Mary is his engineer. Uh, but she is his engineer in a way that, like, that is more like he is a science experiment to her. She has made it very clear on multiple occasions that when, if he was to die, she's going to use his body for research. And I find that very interesting that she's not very attached. She cares about his well-being. She wants him to be safe. But if not, if he chooses this life and what to do, she's going to use him for scrap and, and spare parts. And she's made this clear. Um, 
she has a very, very interesting design to her. She's very patchy. She looks constantly tired, bags under her eyes. And she is also very in touch with the poverty standard because she's kind of a black market uh, engineer. She deals with the procedures that people might not be able to afford uh, otherwise into a actual professional and she works into that. Uh, moving on to uh, what I would say the art. The art style is I believe to be very beautiful. Uh, I think this writer does a super good job. I'm only going to show uh, like a page or two. Um, you know, just kind of run the mill stuff. Nothing crazy. Um, just super bold black lines. Um, and there are places where I see scratchiness. I like that, personally. Uh, just kind of in the background a little bit. Some people hate it. I, I'm personally a fan. Now, when it comes to the designs of the extended, I have to feel like that uh, Karasuma, the author of this and the illustrator, had to, uh, at the very least, played, paid very, very close attention to, to mechanical components at some point in their life. I don't know if maybe school was a part of that or not, but you can, it's very evident in the art. A lot of stuff that they do, you, you, if you suspend your disbelief that, oh, you know, this is steampunk, you can easily be like, well, that, that seems like that's how that would work. Um, at least in some of the less extravagant ones. There's crazy ones, of course. It's, it's manga tomorrow. But some of the less extravagant ones, you're like, oh, yeah, that's, I mean, in the near future, yeah, that could, that would probably work. Like, you look at him like that, yeah, that part looks like it would go there. And, and I feel like that has to come from some experience. I don't know. I've done research on them, but I, it's hard-pressed for me to, to, to believe that they just out of nowhere drew all that and, and they had to have done something um as far as the stories written like I said uh, very detective very grimy LA noir kind of questioning stuff um but the way they write it, it, it's like they're dangling uh the, the fruit of the story along so you kind of get into this feeling uh, along volume two where you're like oh okay this feels kind of like a, a monster of the week kind of deal uh, until you start hearing things and you start seeing things that you're like hold on that seems like there's more to that and lo and behold at the end of volume two you're dropped with this big thing of like oh there's a lot more to this. There's a lot. There's more hands are in this cookie jar than we were first led to believe. And I love that kind of stuff. Just don't, don't, I don't like stuff that just hits you in the face immediately with everything you need to know. I also don't like stuff that like leaves you dangling forever. Like I, I don't want to have to search that hard for it. Like that's why I can't get into, like, the Dark Souls series, because it's just too... I, I gotta reach. I gotta... I feel like I gotta look up 15 week, wiki pages to, to get into stuff like that. And this story, I feel like, finds that perfect medium, where it's not all in your face at once, but it's also not so far-stretched that it keeps you interested. You know, about every chapter, you get a little taste of something. And also, uh, it's something a lot of manga does. Uh, uh, not a lot that I've read. Uh, Berserk was the other one that I read that did this. At the end of chapter two, uh, or volume two, sorry. They do, uh, they're like, hey, from now on, the, the, this next chapter is not a continuation. It is from the experimental version of this story. Uh, and it's basically just the, first, the chapter that they pitched to... Um, the studio or the, to the publishing that, that they wanted, the, the weekly whatever it was in. And I really enjoy that. It kind of gives you a feel for what the story would have been. 
and the Berserk was way different. This, uh, some of the designs are different. He's a lot leaner, but other than that, it's kind of the same. Um, but I really appreciate it when manga does that. It, it kind of really pulls me in even more, gets me more invested because I can see the difference and how it's far it's come. Um, but as someone who's new, and I have a couple hundred volumes, but I still might, I haven't scratched the surface. I feel like this is a really good starting point, especially if you are into any type of steampunk, any type of detective stories. I feel like this is a good place to start for a new manga reader. So go out, guys, at least by the first volume. Um, I don't think you'll regret it. It might not be for you. I'm not saying you won't. Well, don't at me, okay? But <laughs> I think that it, it's a good, intriguing story with gorgeous artwork. And I think it'll have good pacing. And I, I can't see this series going for super long. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how many volumes are out of ja uh, Japan right now, but it can't be insane. Um, so that's about all I got. It's no guns life. It's my manga uh, spotlight. Uh, I just want to finish this video by saying, guys, I've had on my last video a huge boom in views. Um, I know 500 it doesn't seem like a lot in a week, but to me, it's the most views I've had on a video. It's the most that it's just jumped and kept going. And it is by far the one that's got the most people to follow me, to subscribe to me. And I really appreciate it. Over the last week, I've gotten like 30 subscribers. I fucking love that, guys. Y'all are amazing. And I just want to say that thank y'all. You know, I really appreciate it. And I'm going to start streaming on YouTube soon. A bunch of shooters. Uh, also, a bunch of story games I've never played, like Fallout New Vegas. I've been really wanting to play that. Never touched it. And I just really appreciate it. Uh, so, if you like this video, uh, do all this YouTube things. Subscribe, like, comment at me, tell you, tell me if you liked it, what you hated about it, what you loved. Um, and if you feeling frisky, you can hit that bell. I do like three, four videos a month, uh, just intermittent, uh, intermittently. So all I have left to say, guys, is keep reading manga, please. And be good to one another, man. Just, just if you see somebody having a hard time, you know, pick them up. Thank y'all.